Hey guys, welcome to this week in sim racing. This is for the 18th of December 2021. So Christmas is racing towards us and things have got a little bit quiet on the release front for all of our favourite sim racing games. But I've still got some great updates for you this week. As ever, do check out the rest of the channel. There's so much more sim racing on there. And if you've not joined my community yet, clicking on that subscribe button, I'd love to have you on board. First up then, let's jump into Assetto Corsa. Just looking at where we are on the main modding apps, we're still on Sol 2.2, CSP Public 1.75, CSP Preview 176, 136, and Pure 0.32. I do know with some of the work that I've seen that's been going on in the background, there's some great releases coming up very, very soon. Fingers crossed they're gonna be with us as soon as possible over Christmas so we can all enjoy them. Now a couple of places you might want to visit to get some great new mods. AZRZ Racing Games, I've been following them for a while now on Facebook and they create some very, very cool mods. So that's definitely one to check out and I will drop their link in the description. Also, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I love these Tesla Model 3 models and there's a great update on race department. So I will drop the link in the description. There will also be more videos on my channel over the Christmas period for all the best new mods, including the January 2022 update. Also, if you want more content to consume, there's some great videos videos on the channel this week the huge mod pack is one of my favorites 34 cars in six minutes and you can see some of them in the background here really good fun next up we're on to r factor 2 this week has seen another update and something that the community have been asking for for quite a while and the big news on this is all about driver labels so i know that the guys at r factor 2 have really worked hard on trying to balance the way that these driver labels will work to give you the best visibility as well as making them unobtrusive so i think they've done a great job of that so do try them out there's a number of new graphic updates too and some modding updates so do check those out on the r factor 2 official website also another update on cms and storm gang who have brought some amazing new cars to r factor 2 and that is the nissan r90 ck the mazda 787b one of my favorites the sauber c11 the porsche 962 C brilliant car and the Peugeot 905 Evo and finally the 1991 championship winning car the Jaguar XJR14 so they're all dropping into R Factor 2 and with that comes a new championship so the guys at CMS and Storm Gang Simulation are doing a number of great mods for R Factor 2 so do check those out and again I will drop the link to that article in the description just while we talk about sim racing news, where do you go to get the best sim racing news? Well, one of the great places to go is Sim Race 247. So this is a fantastic website that talks about everything that's going on in the sim racing world, but also some great reads and blogs from people around the motorsport world. Sim Race 247 also covers a number of leagues, an extensive number of leagues. So if you do want to get involved in these, check out the website. And again, I'll put the link in the description below. Next up, we're jumping to iRacing, and iRacing has had a big hotfix update this week, so let's have a look at that. So this is 2022 Season 1 Hotfix 2. So the main parts of this is on the simulation and physics part, they've fixed an issue where some physics data was causing the game to crash to desktop. That's really not great, and that's been fixed. AI racing has been updated, the track info has been updated, and they've fixed an issue with replays. There's also a number of extensive hot fixes for cars in the game. So the Dallara IR18 has had some updates to the setups. The Mazda MX-5 Cup, the vehicle audio has been improved. The Honda Civic Type R engine cooling has been updated and the iRacing setups have been updated. The Mercedes AMG F1 W12, I hope you're all enjoying that. A number of fixes on performance there. NASCAR Next Gen Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 fixed an issue where the nose number stamp was not being stamped correctly. And then there have been more updates on the NASCAR Next Gen class cars and the Touring Car class cars. Also on the tracks, there's been an update with the Lanier National Speedway track being patched where there was a terrain seam at the base of the start-finish booth. Having played the new update, I think the biggest piece for me on this hotfix is about the crash into the game. So the replays were crashing the game and some of those physics pieces were too. So with the new hotfix, we have a much more stable game and that's exactly what we want when we're doing all this great online play. 
So that was this week in iRacing and of course this week in Sim Racing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Do remember to check out the community pages and Discord. This week is a very exciting week. I've got a world exclusive happening tomorrow. That's Sunday the 19th of December. And on Wednesday the 22nd of December, I'm going to be doing my next Twitch stream. I'm still quite new on Twitch, but I'd love for some of you to join me on there. Thank you so much again, guys, and see you soon.